Hello and welcome to uh, another edition of my random video excerpts about things that are just completely random, <laughs> as it suggests. Uh, um, today I'm going to focus on the, this fine piece of engineering. This is a, a hot point washing machine uh, called Ultima, so name suggests it's probably like the best ever and there's nothing better than this. Uh, model number uh, WT seven two one twelve hundred spin made in Great Britain. Yeah, go on, get in. So that's uh, as I say, it's a great piece of uh, fine British engineering. But it's uh, having some issues. Um, you see these uh, lights and the displays flashing. Uh, it was working. Uh, with this fault, I uh, could still actually get it to uh, to do the bit of doing the job. Um, but uh, finally today, actually, just the washing machine just gave up, and and it's um, not taking uh, not taking any anything um, at all. And you could press anything, and it just does absolutely. Yeah, well. Comment boxes below. You can say what it, what uh, <laughs> what it does or it doesn't do. All right. Um, well, interesting. Uh, one interesting thing about this is uh, when you cut power. Uh, this is just the standard rear socket. So I'm just cutting power to the washing machine now. So when you hear a click, that means it's uh, uh, the switch is off. There will be no uh, mains running into the washing machine. So uh, here's the click. And look at that! <laughs> it's still on! Oh, okay, it's off. Um, so I'm going to click it back on. Click. I mean, it uh, looks good at night, but um, sadly that's uh, not its purpose, so click. Okay, yeah, and it's uh, gone. Now, uh, because it's been going like this for a while, and I kind of noticed getting worse and worse and worse. I have a vague idea what the problem could be. Now, it will obviously involve some hard labor and taking it out and getting into the um, BCB. Um, but I have a vague idea that this might not be some major undertaking uh, that would involve silly money or basically buying a new washing machine, which Oh, at the end of that, I think this this is actually in a in a reasonable shape. It's it's so it was still doing its job rather well uh, until this electronic fault um, came up. Um, clothes still come up dry, and really you can't can't really fault. It's not leaking. <laughs> I think that would be probably like one of one of the reasons you'd say, okay, screw this. You know what? Get a new one. Uh, but this this looks to. Uh, this looks too too trivial to kind of say, oh, okay, get a wash, new washing machine because this is completely useless now. Because I don't think it is. I think it's uh, it can it can still be um, rescued. It can still be run to the ground, you know, to its natural life, not just because you know some little electronic bit came up. Uh, um, so yeah, I'm going to investigate. I'm going to. Um, Pull it out of, uh, pull pull the washing ma machine out. Obviously, unplug all the uh, um, the what the, the the power cable, um, the water supply line, and um, the exhaust bulb, whatever the thing it's still for in. So uh, it can fill in the blanks. So I'm going to look um, how difficult it is to actually get it out of of here. Um, there is a bit of underlay on. On the vinyl, so hopefully I won't be able. I'll, I'll be able to pull pull it um, to pull it out without ripping the vinyl, um, which will be a, probably a, a good thing to keep it as this because uh, yeah, it's all right. Um, yeah, so um, I'm going to uh, try to get it uh, out of here and see if I can if I can find a fault. I mean, this is essentially if you're super bored um, 
Are you just looking for an excuse to do a weekend project? Or, you know, you got a weekend project and you've got nothing else going. Oh, you're broken washing machine. Yeah, let's, let's do that. That's, that's probably going to be super easy. And by like some silly hours of Sunday night, Monday morning, I'll be like still at it. Screwing like, oh, why? Why didn't I just go and get a new washing machine? Why did I have to go through this rigmarole of, oh, we can project, say, hey, let's do some DIY nonsense and fix things. But well, let's let's see, um, let's see how 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 I get on. I mean, obviously, this is this is an, a boiler or something that you would need special training uh, to to be to be messing with. Obviously, if it comes to uh, appliances like this, you need some sort of understanding of, you know, the rudimentary electric, electronics, um, you know, holding screwdrivers. And I don't know. I mean, just sort of basics. Um, Perhaps sometimes, you know, you might need a little bit more than basics, uh, but then, you know, that's that that's going to come out later once we try to, once we get into um, the PCB and see if uh, there are any visible um, signs of, uh, of a problem. Because, like I mentioned, I think this is not something really serious because, number one, I mean, the motor works, everything, everything works, the heater works. There's seriously no issues with it. And to be honest, this washing machine probably looks worse than, than it is because it had a very little run. So uh, again, I'm thinking a small part on, on the PCB board, likely to be in pens, you know, to uh, to get from electronic shops. Um, you know, one big one, but probably with the buddy uh, aware of. Uh, you know, and maybe the driver of the shop, you know, yeah, that, that will be like the expense. And uh, yeah, and essentially it could be a, an hour or if you like me, not very technically skilled or minded with heavy stuff like this, could take a day, maybe even uh, two. I mean, <laughs> it's it's a great mystery, but I think this is probably why I'm going into this uh, weekend project <laughs> nonsense to see if I'll be ringing appliances direct on Monday or or what um but yeah it's um sure it's something to entertain myself for a little while so yeah let me um let me try to get it out and and see if I can get all the uh, um all the cables undone and see how far I can get it out out of there so uh let's uh let's try right, so I've got a vague idea what I'm doing here uh, there is only one line uh, coming to the washing machine, so I think that's probably a tab. So um, yeah, that seemed to be now in its closed position. Okay, again, you know, I have a vague idea what I'm doing. So okay, right, I see the problem. I need to hold this bit there. I think I need to pause it and get better access because uh, um, there's this little T uh, bit here. And then there is um, another valve that's screwed on top. Uh, so the plastic bit, plastic bit. And then I think there's a metal bit coming into this. Now this plastic bit is very loose. I mean, I'm a bit worried. Um, if I can't get better access, I'm just going to open this and I start flooding. I mean, I've got a, I've, I've got a tap here. I've got a mains, like the main cattle valve, just, just right there, so I can just grab it and close it. But still, uh, that'll be a bit messy. So let me try to see if I can maybe reposition the camera. Um, see, I've got a little pan there just in case if I get any droppage. I think I'm more, I worry a bit more about um, more than droppage, but let's let's see what happens. All right. Okay. Now I need to get this camera completely out of here and get better access. So, All right. So um, managed to uh, 
get access um, and basically take these uh, hoses out without uh, <laughs> flattening the house or uh, getting myself killed in the process or making any actual damage to um, to any of the systems which is like okay I'm, I'm not really familiar with like pipes and water you know it's it's um, you know you kind of look at things and uh, you know it's usually kind of common sense because there is a certain way um, elements are made to do a certain function and um, obviously these elements have been here for probably a good part of seven years because this this is a about a seven year old building um but they're still in okay shape i mean the um this valve is a bit leaky but i think it's just because maybe hard water I had to uh, open and close a few times to uh, um to get it properly closed and it still might be leaking a bit so i had to actually i i cut off the main water supply um to the system um the car had a little spray coming out of it so uh um didn't want that to uh affect the work that i'll be now undertaking so uh, the next thing i'm going to do is uh, try to get these uh, hoses through tiny hall there and pull the washing machine out see if i uh, if i get a decent enough access to it um yeah so uh Let's move on to... Hey, the and the washing machine is now out. Uh, someone did actually quite a clever thing. And I must say, yeah, good on you. Um, what's going on? Um, there is a bit of an old carpet of some sort placed underneath upside down. So um, the cause bit that usually goes on the hard floor or on your underlay is facing up and uh, the bottom bit is, is what is supposed to be on the top. Now this is actually more like uh, your doormat. So it's not necessarily a carpet, it's more like a sort of a doormat um, kind of uh, thing cut, uh, obviously to protect the vinyl uh yeah this is this is probably something that uh when you get your next uh, washing machine now remember those washing machines nowadays i mean they cost a thousand pounds and they're super glossy and fun but you know what <laughs> just wait for your um warranty to expire um so yeah obviously tons of uh dust on top here all that eo stuff um yeah, I'm gonna probably address that before I come anywhere near. Um, but I have access to the back, I hope. So uh, let's move on and see what's uh, happening at the back of this um, fine hot point Ultima washing machine. Now we're looking at um, the back of uh, this washing machine. Now, thanks to that little carpet at the bottom, that little carpet there, see this, this sort of underlay that someone put underneath the washing machine, which actually also prevents all the jumping and noising and all that rockets that some machines, cheaper machines generate. This obviously is not your top of the line, this is some cheap, uh, I mean, uh, 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 economy class um, um, hot point washing machine. Uh, what I'm going to focus on is this. Um, let me just take this off. Reposition the camera. Right. I'm going to focus on here. I'm going to look look inside here now. What's this? Is this a star screw or a Phillips? Because obviously that's going to be a bit of a problem. Because I don't know if I've got a star. Screwdriver. Let's try. Uh, let's see what we got. Let's try a small, small screwdriver first, and see if we can get into this. Uh, huh. Easy. Right. 
right so uh, it's just a bit awkward holding camera with one hand and trying to do some like say fiddly things because I'm actually holding this and um, there's some more screws here so now they're there and I'm just gonna just loosen them up and just to see you know, if this is gonna be like a major challenge that I'll be like oh why why is I really bother with this nonsense but uh, it's uh, it's actually uh, going okay there now these are just yeah these are just a standard Phillips it looked like uh, this one looked like a star because I don't have a proper light I think I should get more light here uh, there there is my stage light Okay, so that's it should be a bit better. I should give you a bit better view of what I'm looking at. It is um, there's one more screw here. It's plastic. Now that comes right off. Get the stage light closer in. Oops. That's so. Uh, that's the view. That's the view you get. Uh, when you take the uh, back cover off. I right, I'm going to focus on this bit here. Um, because I suspect this is where the circuit board is. Oh, look, yeah, yes. So I need to get into this, this bit now. Electric, um, warning thing, right. I did switch the main switch off. But just to be on the safe side, because, you know, I might not be the luckiest person on earth. I'm just going to pull the plug. Uh, there you go. So all those health and safety freaks screaming at the monitor now. Um, they can just now relax. Okay, so uh, what am I doing with this? Let's see if I can... Is there any way of... Right. It seems like it's coming off without too much force just gently pulled now I think right, let me just reposition the camera because I think there is something that I need to do in a certain way right there is one more screw here now I think this is the one that actually holds the module inside so uh, I'm going to take this screw the only small screwdriver that uh, yeah I can yeah that's that's definitely now let's just look at the screws as I didn't pay attention but to be honest they're all the same so no problem about oh my god which screw is which and oh this screw is left what do I do with it they are the same so right now next I'm going to put my hand in there and let's see. Oh, yeah. So, all I have to do is just lift a bit. It's inside. Now, I think this needs to come off completely. Yeah, that's it. That's. Oops. Oh, to me, nice. You actually don't see it. Let's see if I can reposition the camera slightly right. Uh, yeah, there you go. I have to lift because it's. It's like on the latch. See, here's a latch and it moves up and down. So just pull this. Let me just see what the wiring is going. Where's the wiring going? I don't want to pull anything from this. All right. It is kind of hanging. Oh, so I'm going to have to do it. Well, well that's one way or the other, but um, 
Okay, this this is as, as far as as I can pull without now start disconnecting. But before I disconnect, I think I'm going to have to label um, all the cables because um, you got a socket here, you got a socket there, socket there, socket there, socket there. Socket there something it's all over. It's just littered with um, with wires. Now. <laughs> This is this is the moment in the Saturday project when you kind of think, oh, why? But I'm gonna persevere because uh, this is this is actually quite far. I've gotten and I didn't expect that I can get as as far as this. But I thought I'd probably give up um, somewhere at taking the hoses off. Uh, you know, they they did resist, um, but uh, actually kind of got through that and now I've pulled the washing machine with ease afterward it was just I mean look at the vinyl no sign it's just a little bit of a that because that looks like dry and it's just sort of coming off but vinyl is you know <laughs> maybe even cleaner because these like brushes these or well, the bristles uh, probably uh shiny vinyl you know when you pull the washing machine out but uh, yeah so uh, i'm going to label these um somehow i'm gonna have to find some sort of lazy man option to do this uh, probably i'll just take a photo uh because that's usually quite uh quite a wise thing to do before you start disconnecting and like repairing something for the first time in your life because remember, this is not like the first time I'm fixing something. But I'm used to more kind of um, computery kind of things, you know, where there's a computer or laptop involved or a microcomputer or some sort of programming where you kind of do most of the work from the keyboard. But this is this is fun nonetheless. So, um, so yeah, the next bit probably will be if you're looking at hanging wires. And me crying that something came undone and I don't know what the, what this is and what do I do with it and yeah you know, what's uh, uh, what's the next washing machine delivery date it's going to be to my address all right so um yeah let's move on to the next bit all right this is going to be my attempt to um unhook everything so I'm plugging j9 uh this is a bit awkward to pull um see if i can get this loose yeah. yeah this is much harder than working with a computer where you skip two jumpers so all right i can oh i'm i was a bit worried if i put put the plug back in the right or wrong socket but you can't really go wrong because there's a groove there so uh brown brown red it's on the right and then what we got here it's a bit longer one uh, that fits into the entire socket so no drums there all right, so we got this now. This looks like a power supply, and it's sitting a oh, little tight. So I have to use this thin screwdriver. Oh God, this is this is this is terrible. Seriously, um, I'm gonna move on this end. I'm not familiar with this type of lock. Okay, this, this should, in theory, be like super easy. And I'm sure someone who repairs these machines on a daily basis is like screaming at the screen saying, Oh, you're an idiot. You just do this and this and it just pops out like, Oh, it's like, what are you doing? You map it. Um, but yeah, actually I got it out in the end. So it is actually still hanging on something. 
and so I need to I need to look into this why is it still tensing that don't, don't seem to be hang on no right, I'm going to ah there you go there's just a little bit more there okay I need to get better access to the cables up so uh, let me pause it and we'll move on to the next shot Right, so what we seem to have on top is just another plastic latch holding um, a bunch of cables. I don't know if you can see that. Here's a plastic latch. And some cables are already undone. I've managed to pull a few out before I reposition the camera. So I'm just trying to get them gently out. Probably use cable ties later. I mean, these cable ties are still quite decent, so I don't want to sort of split the um, what they called uh, bunches of cables because uh, it's a neat job. So, so I showed you earlier, it's a fine piece of British engineering. It was made in Britain, so it's put together rather decent. There you go. There's a PCB out. It was hanging on this latch um, and there are two more sets of connectors. These are obviously some control connectors. This will be probably for the uh, programs and display because this this looks low voltage. So, right, so I'm just going to unplug this and unplug that and there you go. That's the control board from Hotpoint Ultima. Oh, well, I'm going to get inside see if there are any visible signs of problems because uh, that's what I'm counting on. I'm actually counting on something silly, you know, type of 50p job. Uh, because the, these boards are programmed through the device. So Apparently, you can get you know replacement ball, but then need to program it to this machine. And it sounds like a busy work, to be honest. So um, this didn't take me uh, a long to get in. So let me uh, let me take the plastics and, and the reposition, and I would get a better shot of uh, of the board. See what's inside. Now the board seems to be held by these latches, the plastic latch, which we need to get. Um, unstuck, I will get loose. So I'm doing this off camera, but it's um, just easier. Um, I've got a camera on the tripod, so relatively good light but this is coming off this is coming off yeah yeah okay yeah okay i'm home this is piss of piss seriously okay just gonna zoom in okay and um all the geeky people that actually know a little bit about this like you know uh, electronic components uh, a little history about some scam about using some different mixture of alkaline fluid in certain types of... Anyway, Google it. Uh, but yeah, this is <laughs> as, as exactly as I thought. Um, it's going to... I mean, the repair is going to cost a pound. Seriously. Um, right, this is, this is what my diagnosis is. Now, anyone, anyone who is more clever than me is seriously welcome to um, put their comment. But I will be continuing until I actually get it fixed and I put the first load. Right, so what is the sort of obvious sign that something is seriously buggered? Well, not seriously, but a little bit. Um, are these capacitors? These two here. But I think I might probably take care of all three, just so to be sure. Maybe even four. I mean, this doesn't look uh bad this is just a little dust um from heat 
because obviously this 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 disperses a lot of he's a res this is the res stuff. Um but yeah, what are we looking at? This is probably six uh, yeah, okay, so what the problem is here, and I'm gonna have to reposition the camera slightly, so uh, bear with me here. But uh, I'm trying to get a little better view of where the washing machine is going wrong and what can be done about it. Um, right. And it looks like sort of semi decent like that. I'm going to zoom in on this amazing thing. Now, what we have here. It's 680 microfarads, 10 volts. So that is, that's going. That's, this is, this is the problem. And the next one is the little black one here. Uh, what we got? I think we're going to have to take it, take it out of the board before we see what the, what the capacity is. Uh, have a close look from uh 470 microfarads 10 volts uh so it got 680 microfarads 10 volts 470 microfarad 10 volts and the one at the at the back the tiny little one which doesn't look like it's faulty but i'm still going to take care of it i'm still going to replace it all three um it's um 100 microfarads 25 volts so uh so yeah, that's that's your um, obvious sign of what the problem is. Now these will cost peanuts. I'm gonna go over to Maplin to find out how much they are. I hope they do have uh, them in stock. So before I go on a journey, I think I'm just gonna um, uh, see if they have it in stock near me. Um, I will also look if I've got any spare capacitors uh, within this tolerance. I know. I don't have any 680s. I might have some 470s. Um, I'm not sure about 100. I know I'm not sure about 100. But uh, yeah, we got um, those three capacitors replaced. Um, decided to leave this one because it looks healthy. So I've um, not changed this one. I've just changed this uh, group here. Um, we had. Let me just get the lights off. Um, six eighty ten. There you go, four seventy ten. And last one was. Let's just see if I can zoom. Oh, 100 uh, by 25. Now, I got the, um, this This is what I've replaced it with. So I've got six, 680, 10 volts, a little smaller than the one that was there before. Um, you can see it's a bit smaller. So that was one. Second one, uh, couldn't get uh, 470 by 10 on short notice, so uh, replaced it with 470 by 16, but it doesn't really make a difference. Uh, so instead of 470 by 10, I'm putting it 470 by 16. Won't make a difference. And the last one was, um, what is it, 100 by 25, so two identical, one uh, slightly different, again, won't really make any difference. So now I'm going to put that back in and see uh, if uh, if this little repair um, fixed the problem with um, all lights flashing on hot point at washing machine. So let's move on to the next. Okay, we've... Um Got everything now put back together. The water is reconnected, uh, the waste pipes were connected. Um, as you can see, um, the washing machine is back in its place. 
Well, we're going to try, let's see. Right, uh, I'm going to plug in the mains. Let's see what happens. I'm well, not researched this, but this is going to be, well, let's see what happens. Okay. Um, let's try to put it on. No way. No way, it's working. <laughs> right, let me let me put the load in, and um, and we'll continue. Um, <laughs> this is just too funny. <laughs> um, right, let me uh, let me put the load in. Right, so uh, all this stuff is in now. Um, <laughs> can't believe it. <laughs> No way. Uh, let's just check for leakage um, on the mains pipes. No, fine, fine, fine. Can't believe it. So, I okay, now a word of caution because obviously I do not encourage anyone who have not done anything like this in the past because there is obviously um, this thing, health and safety obsessed um, nation that you can get elect electrocuted, you can probably drown. I mean, you, you don't do it. You'll probably die, seriously. Unless you know a foreigner, then maybe you can ask them. Uh, or, you know, if you've done some repairs in the past, I don't know if you fixed monitors or uh, if you fix, uh, if you ever soldered anything, because essentially that's what you need to do. Uh, just solder two or three components. Sometimes it's just one. So I'm just going to recap what we've done um, on the here. So uh, let's move on to the next thing.